Good morning, students. Welcome to our class from home to home. In the video series, I will take class five, EVS and ERT, and the very first lesson is super senses. This lesson tells various aspects of animals. So let's begin. Our five sense organs are our window to the world. Our tongue tells us about the taste. Ears make us hear. Eyes help us to see. Nose helps us to smell, and our skin makes us feel. Some animals have heightened senses. Take for example. Whenever there is sugar or water on the floor, ants come quickly. When you pass by a sleeping dog, it its ears shoot up. You sometimes see an eagle dive and catch its prey. Animals have very strong sense of either smelling, vision. hearing or feeling here is a list of top 10 animals with super sensors platypus it has electroreception bats it has echolocation snakes they have infrared radiation detection and octopus have polarized vision unlike any other mammal on this planet Platypus have the curious ability to perceive underwater prey using underwater reduction referred to as electroreception. Electroreception allows platypus to use electrical impulses to locate objects in the deepest and the darkest waters. then we have bats with super senses bat can see as well as humans can but they have evolved a sophisticated method of using sound that enables them to navigate and find food in the dark it's called echolocation bats produce echolocation by emitting high frequency sound pulses through their mouth or nose and listening to the echo interestingly dolphins and whales share a unique way of seeing the world through echo location just like bats also called sonar in other words dolphins can emit and receive the echoes of sound waves that bounce off any object near them in the water same mechanism is used in ultrasound machines snakes rely mostly on their senses of smell and their sense of touch snakes don't have noses like we do they have nostrils to breathe but snakes smell with their tongue along with the five main senses sight hearing smell taste touch some snakes have another sixth sense the ability to sense the heat of other creatures the two main groups of snakes have heat sensitive pit organs here is a picture of a rat through the perspective of a snake this vision is called infrared radiation detection then we have silkworm a silkworm can find its female worm from many kilometers away by her smell when we talk about super senses eagle is prominent animal in that series sight is the strongest of all eagle senses the eyes are large can take up 
almost 50% of the head of an eagle and can weigh the same amount as a human eye. The eagle's vision is four or five times better than that of a human. Mosquitoes, when humans and other animals breathe, they exhale a gas called carbon dioxide and the mosquitoes have sensors that can detect this scent. Still, more sensors allow it to detect heat as well. Then we have elephant. It has a keen nose. They have more smell receptors than any mammal, including dogs, and can sniff out food that is several miles away. Heightened smelling sense in dogs is used extensively by police and army. Dogs can detect explosives, drugs by their smell and they can catch criminals by their smell. There are, there are certain smells that you like and there are some smells that you don't like. There may be some smells liked by you, but that isn't liked by someone else. For example, some people like the smell of petrol, but the same smell is not liked by other people. So here is a list of some commonly liked smells, perfumes, incense, sticks and flowers, and the smell that most people don't like is garbage, potty, spoiled food, etc. Animals have two different position of eyes. Some have on either sides of their heads like a crow and some have in front of their heads like owl. In case if the eyes are on either side of their heads, they can focus on two different things at a time, but if they look in front, they can focus on the same object. You must have noticed that birds move their heads quite often. The reason of the frequent movement is, is that their eyes are fixed. They cannot be moved. So, the birds have to move their neck often to look around. Here is the color spectrum which is seen by dog and human as well. As you can see some colors are not seen by the dogs. Red, yellow, green and purple is not seen by dog. But reptiles can see better colors than us as they have four color receptors in their eyes while human eyes have only three color receptors. Following is the difference of vision between birds and human. On the left hand side you can see the vision of a human eye and on the right you can see the vision of a bird. So you often wonder if there is any link between the size of ear and hearing. So, the function of the outer ear, scientific, scientifically called pinna, is to amplify and channel sound into the ear canal. Bigger ears will do it slightly more. Birds and some animals have internal ears, means they have ears but they can't be seen. They don't have pinna. The part of ear which stands out of the body called pinna, they don't have these reptiles, birds, they don't have pinna. Many animals and birds like langur have elaborate alarm calls for warnings, others of approaching predators. For example, the alarm call of the blackbird is a familiar sound in many gardens. Other animals like fish and insects 
may use non auditory signals such as chemical messages visual signs such as the white tail flashes of many deer have been suggested as alarm signals electric fish communicate by generating an electric field that a that a second individual receives with its electro receptors Dolphins communicate with sonar system, same mechanism that's used in ultrasound machines. In December 2004, a few tribes that live in the forests of Andaman Islands noticed that the animals behaving in a different manner. They guessed some danger. so they moved away to a safer part of the island soon after the islands were hit by the tsunami but these people were saved so let's have a look at the sleeping pattern of animals hibernation is way for many creatures from butterflies to bats to survive cold dark winters without having to forage for food or migrate to somewhere warmer instead they turn down their metabolism to save energy long winter sleep is called hibernation aestivation is animal in hot climate also undergo a form of hibernation it is called aestivation long summer sleep is called aestivation the dis- difference between hibernation and aestivation is hibernation helps avoid danger from low temperatures in winter on the other hand aestivation helps avoid danger from high temperatures in summer here is the list of animals which hibernate like moth bat bear bumblebee snail ground hog ladybug hedgehog mouse garter snake ground squirrel ground squirrel box turtle etc these animals hibernate during the cold winters and these animals turtles crocodile snails they aestivate they sleep during the hot summer so when we talk about the sleeping sleep duration of different animals um, it varies to a high extent cow sleeps for 4 hours during a day On the other hand python sleeps 18 hours a day giraffe sleeps only for 2 hours and cat sleeps for 12 hours a day Now let's talk about the super senses of a tiger A tiger can see 6 times better at night than most of us A tiger's whiskers are very sensitive and can sense the moment or vibrations in the air they help the tiger move in the dark and find its prey a tiger's sense of hearing is so sharp that it can make out the difference between the rustling of leaves and the sound of an animal moving on the grass the ear of tiger can move in different directions and it helps to catch the sounds from all around tiger makes different sounds for different purposes like when it is angry or to call out to a tigress it can also roar or snarl its roar can be heard up to 3 kilometers away each tiger has its own area which may cover several kilometers tigers bark their area with their urine a tiger can 
at once come to know if there is another tiger in its area by the smell of the urine. A tiger will avoid going to another tiger's area. In many mammal species, scent barking is seen, such as a dog and a tiger. They mark their territory by urinating at various places. But some animals such as leopard and jaguars mark their area by rubbing themselves against vegetation. Tiger is on the verge of extinction. Here, uh, let's talk about extinction. Extinction of a particular animal occurs when there are no more individuals of that species alive anywhere in the world. Some of the extinct animals are dinosaurs, dodo, great or woolly mammoth. So, endangered animals are animals that are in danger of becoming extinct. This means that there will be no more of these animals alive on earth. An animal is considered endangered or threatened when there are very few of them alive. Animals like tiger, javan, rhinoceros, mountain gorillas, Asian elephants, orangutans, snow leopards are endangered animals. So, the government has decided to set aside some areas called national parks. National parks are for the preservation of wildlife and flora and fauna. Some national parks are Kana National Park, Bandhavgarh National Park, Kajiranga National Park, Nagarhol, Kantambar, Keriyar, Gir, and Sundarban National Parks. There are many, many more national parks spread throughout a country. They preserve wildlife such as tiger, rhinoceros, deers, elephants, etc. And they preserve flora and fauna as well. We come to an end of a lesson. Happy learning. Stay home, stay safe.